Joining me is Stacy Jones. She is the CEO of Hollywood Branded, a marketing agency. And uh, Stacy, we'll get to Hollywood in just a minute, but let's start in China. In 2019, Wandering Earth was one of two Chinese language films that became huge, big, giant hits. Perhaps the biggest in, in Chinese uh, box office history. So the movie industry was set to soar there. Uh, then along comes this virus, the movie industry in China kind of grounding to a standstill. Where are things there now? Uh, where do they stand, would you say? You know, I think it's going to be interesting in China to see where the recovery is. We are now seeing people emerging from the crisis, emerging from their homes. And it was interesting because last weekend was the first time a theater tried to open, and they did not see a large foot traffic coming in. So it's going to be a slow ramp up time before people are trusting and willing to go out in public into social gatherings and to actually sit down in a theater to relax because it's not very relaxing right now. People are still scared. And Stacey, you're in Los Angeles. I grew up there. I know the movie industry is sort of like the car industry in Detroit. So talk to me about the hit there. You know, it's tremendous. You know, we have hundreds of thousands of individuals who have lost their jobs in the last week. Every production ground to a halt. You know, there were feature film shooting, television shows filming, and we're not going to see them ever being able to really catch up and complete their seasons. With all of these hundreds of thousands of people who now are unemployed, they're going to struggle because they're not like everyday jobs. They're freelancers. They go from one production to another production. And unemployment doesn't work exactly the same for them. And beyond these freelancers, the, besides the crew, you have all of those smaller businesses. You have the accountants, the editors, the animators. You have even hairdressers and caterers. All of these companies no longer have a business to be able to thrive in. Mm -hmm. Well, look, I think one thing everyone agrees on, probably worldwide, is this pandemic is just depressing. Most of us need an escape, but you can't even go to the theaters for a little escapism. So you have a lot of people clamoring, just put the movies online. Is that going to work? You know, the movie studios are faced with a dilemma right now. They can either choose like Fast and the Furious has or like James Bond has because it's going to come out on Thanksgiving instead of this summer. Can they choose to delay the release of the film? And it has some consequences there because you can't just pop a film into another date. The landscape and the calendar for films, for the production cycle, it's set. It's set a year, two years in advance. And if they go ahead and they just plop down that film on another date, they're going to cannibalize potential dollars that they could be getting from that future box office for that other film. Now, if they go to stream it on demand, like they're talking about doing for limited windows where you can rent the film for $19.99 as an example, you know, there's an issue there because there's no historical data to show that the dollars coming in are going to be anywhere near the box office. You know, they're looking right now at Wonder Woman. Do they push it or do they go ahead and distribute it digitally? That film is estimated to bring in a billion dollars at the box office. It costs between 100 and 150 million dollars to actually produce it and another 100 150 million dollars to actually market it. And it has major brands who are on board to act as co-promotional sponsors where they're going to help bring more eyeballs to the films. Well, those advertisers aren't going to be advertising. So, does the studio move forward? they're really at a quandary. They could be losing millions and millions of dollars to a sum that it's going to affect us as consumers because these dollars are actually used to put into future film production mm. to make more content. And you know, uh, just adding up the numbers you just threw out there, $300 million though, can you sit on $300 million and wait? I mean, this could be months, it could be several months. Uh, that's another equation they have to look at, right? It is. They're going to look at bridge gap loans and how they can actually offset and defer uh, dollars for later dates. You know, I think that's something the studios are going to be able to weather. It's more so what is the potential if that film doesn't produce the dollars they actually need it to do. Universal has taken, you know, two different stances on this. They're releasing Trolls World Tour on as a streamer, but they're pushing Fast and the Furious 9 for next summer. So they're taking calculated risks and they're going to be testing with both. Stacey Jones joining us from Hollywood, where things are very, very interesting right now. Thanks so much.